Hi everyone, welcome back to the Necklace Workshop. Um, so today we're going to do a little modification on this uh, uh, Bernard um, tool post um, or tool holder. So we've got this this part, and as you can, uh, let me try and get it nice and close. Um, someone's had a go at this, trying to uh, file it to make it obviously fit on the onto um, a lathe in the past um, and I, my plan is I'd like it to be able to fit onto the um, Myford ML7 and the Myford ML, ML3 so um, this is the uh, the stud that it needs to fit on um, for the ML3 and we're, we're let me see if I can put it there for you we're pretty close to it so all we're going to do is we're going to put this into um, the jig borer and just tickle along the uh, the edges to try and um, just give me a little bit extra clearance. Um, now I've done a couple of lines to try and keep me parallel, but it's um, I don't know again I don't know whether you can see that, but it's quite hard to mark from this side because this is an um, it's not a machine side. But I just want to try and make sure uh, everything sort of. Um, as close to parallel well I want to try and improve on that where someone's done something I don't know what they've done but anyway I'm sure we can uh, try and try and um, get something a bit better so over at the um, let me move you over to the jig borer so let me whisk round for anyone new so this is a B, uh, BCA jig borer um, so I've put the voice in it uh, I've trammed it up, bearing in mind we've got very small um, uh, distance we're going to uh, move along. So I think um, I think everything there is okay. Um, yeah, so I'm going to, um, and I've got some, some parallels, um, and I've had a little practice so I can fit it into the vise. So my plan will be to do that now, and then uh, I'll bring you back. Okay, so we're back back at the, uh, oh, not back, yeah, I suppose we are back at the jig borer. Um, I've uh, put the uh, the cutter down low enough to ensure um, it, it cuts the area that we want. Um, there's no, um, well, yeah, yeah, it's just a matter of us uh, having a go and seeing what happens, really. It's definitely not precision engineering this, so I can assure you. Oh. go in a little bit and then we'll come on come across and hopefully we should start to see as soon as we see a few chips then we'll move, move along and see what we've uh, what we're okay so this <coughs> as we saw uh, Excuse me. As we saw earlier, this um, was elongated on one side, and this is a shorter side. Fortunately, I'm not on piecework, so uh, yeah, if I have to try and make a living out of this, I'll be in trouble. Oh, 
me a while to get the um, the patter well on um, the talk discussion well on um, working similar to uh, Age and Age workshop. I think it's uh, I have to think too hard about what I'm doing. Okay, we're going to do one more cut and then we'll just have a bit of a. I don't know what it is. Hopefully okay, it's not the parallels. Okay. Let's switch this off. Okay, so let's ah fuck. I moved the wrong one there. Oh, wrong way. Right. Let's hope this is it because I've managed to um Move the rotary element, so um, we won't have parallel. It won't be parallel anymore. So let me get a brush. Yeah, quite annoyed with myself now that I've done that. See if I move it this way. Okay. Let's turn the turn the venue on. Just try and see what. Thirteen point five five. That side. As I said earlier, it's um. Um. It's pretty hard because these these sides are um, not machined. Okay, uh, let me for uh, the bolt. Well, we have a bolt that does. We're very nearly there. Okay. So what I'm going to do? Let me just double check that. Sorry, I know it's not a wonderful viewing. Just want to get a feel for that. 30. And yeah, it's about the same. Well, we seem to have taken out the, uh, we've got that slightly more parallel. So I think what we do is um, we just try and take a little bit more out. Again, it's not. Um, it's all. No, I can't. What I'm going to do because oh, I can't bear to do this. I'm going to take this um, take this out and put the um, the clock back in and make sure I've got it still running parallel. Because now I've sort of straightened things up. The last thing I want to do is make it um, add a true again so I'll, I'll be back in a second all right right we're back again so uh, all trammed in um, and ready to rock and roll okay let's have a go Earlier, this is all uh, all by eye. Don't bode well, really. My old eyes. Anyway.
I look like the voice was moving there. I'm not having a good day here. Yeah? Okay. It's uh have a look, see how we've done. I must admit, uh, I'm quite surprised how much harder it is filming with the pressure of you guys watching. Right, I think we've got a bit of a win there because it's going in. So, I think rather than push me luck, if that voice is uh, not quite right, I'm going to stop there. Okay, so. Um, let me take this out and we'll go back to the bench and just uh, wrap this up, okay? Hi right, everyone, so we're back now. Um, trying the camera from the other side, see if it's a bit easier. So I'm not sure how this is going to work. Anyway, we've got a uh, nut in there. Um, it's only just fits. Um, if we have a look at, hopefully, you can see it's a bit more... Uh, oblong rather than uh, well it's not oblong because it's got curves at the ends but it's slightly better than it was um, I hope hopefully that'll come out um, I'd like to I may just chop off a bit more off the camera I don't know that's a bit bit tight I'll try it on the um, this is from the um, ML3 so it would work on there I'll see whether it works on the ML7 but if I have to tweak it again so this now gives me the ability for us to have do the review and show you guys what what I got in this little box um, yeah I'm a bit a bit disappointed with um, you know <laughs> my standard of work over there but anyway uh, you know I've spent 30 years in the world of software dealing uh, I'm pretty good at uh, smoke and mirrors and um, I sort of made a commitment to myself that I wasn't going to go down that road here with you guys. So um, if I mess it up, I mess it up. Um, but hopefully over time we can see me uh, improve and um, try and remember the uh, the things that I was <laughs> taught in my apprenticeship. Anyway, so that's about it for now. So thanks for taking along. <clears throat> so, yeah, we we'll do a... We'll see what's inside this box uh, at some time in the future. Okay, thanks so much. Bye-bye.